Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost. This is Global War 1914, Operation Hamill, the British Empire in the fall winter of 16. Uh, one quick housekeeping thing. If you did not see a correction video for China last round, then never mind. If you did see the correction video, uh, discarded. It's been deleted. I got confused uh, between 1936 and 1914 rules. In 1914, when you do an unopposed attack, you are not required to roll for retreats as you are in 36. So uh, everything that I originally walked into Xinghai is there. Okay, sorry for the confusion. Uh, oh, there's one other thing. Uh, I got wrong. Um, while the United States is at peace, uh, the only thing they can collect is income from the uh, peacetime increase uh, rolls and... Uh, random event income, because they did get two IPPs from uh, random event last turn. So the IPP for uh, Eastern Mexico, I've marked up here until they go to war. Okay, housekeeping done. The British are going to try to finish both uh, poison gas and improved factories. Well, they missed gas, but they hit improved factories with an 11. So that is finished. Hooray! Um, this turn, it is not going to change my buy. All right, we are going to spend two on diplomacy this turn. Uh, we're going to try to advance Portugal, and we're going to try to push... Chile back. So uh, Chile, Chile will be blue, Portugal is yellow. Both missed. Oh well, we tried. Okay, purchase. After uh, the U boat did its one damage, we had uh, 50 pounds left in the bank. Of course, we spent two on diplomacy. We're spending four to move the cruiser that was in stage two to the place units box. Ten on two artillery, two on a militia. We're spending 12 on three, cavil or three camels. We're going to spend six on a cash and carry seaplane. Eight on two colonials. No. Three colonials and one colonial upgrade for eight. And then we're spending six on two infantry. Okay, combat. Uh, nothing too spectacular. We're going to have an attrition attack from uh, southern Iraq into northern Iraq. We're going to have attrition from eastern Egypt into Palestine. And up here... Our seaplane in Normandy and our sea, our seaplane in Normandy and the one in the Midlands are going to come out here and attack that U-boat. And that's it for combat. So let's do the attrition attack in northern Iraq first. That's uh, two artillery. And both missed. That's an 11 under there. Okay, now we've got one shooting from Eastern Egypt into Palestine. That missed. And now we have... Get rid of those dice. Now we have... Uh, two seaplanes attacking the U-boat in A-21. Those both missed. All right, well... 
We didn't do much good there, did we? Okay, now let's get to non-combat. So, down here, we have an artillery in South Africa that rails to Eastern Egypt. We have an infantry and an artillery loading on this transport in I-1, going one space up here to I-3. Drop these guys in the Seychelles to go uh, hang out with the giant tortoises and all that fun stuff. Um, I'm going to shift over here a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing as before. The uh, colonial from Western Egypt moves over to Eastern Egypt. The same with the colonial in Nubia moves up to Eastern Egypt. So... There's the two colonials that non-combat moved to Eastern Egypt. Then, and of course, like before, I'm leaving these two where they are because I'm going to replace them when I put the units on. Uh, this coastal sub has a port bonus from either one of these. He's coming through the canal going 1-2 into I-4. Here, the Gurkha goes from Punjab to southern Persia. Uh, the transport here in I-6 is going to bridge a colonial and an artillery over to southern Iraq. There's the artillery. And I'm just going to set that chip right there because in... Uh, place units, you'll see why. But that, that is a uh, colonial infantry. Knock that guy right over. Okay, I think that is it down here. Okay, over here. Zoom in just a little bit. Okay, this seaplane that is on Malta has a movement bonus. So he's going one, two, three, four, five up to Aquitaine. So he's going to land right there. And then. I think that works. Might even zoom, zoom in just a touch. Okay. Down here at A35, we're taking all of our ships that are sitting here. Since uh, Spanish ports are now open to the Allies, we can get a movement bonus from that major shipyard. So they're going to go 1 2 up there to A21. And the ships that are in port at uh, the Midlands are going to come out into A21. So get rid of the in port marker and put him out there. I did attack that submarine, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. So. I'm just going to take the ships that were in the Atlantic and add them to the task force card. Get everybody lined up here. The, uh, the two transports that were in port there at the Midlands are also coming out with the fleet. Okay, so I'll just show you now and give you a count. In A21, the Royal Navy has two transports, two pre-dreadnoughts, four cruisers, one, two, three, four, five, six destroyers, four submarines, and a coastal submarine. 
all sitting right there in A20. Just knocked a German over. All right. Um, then we have one more non-combat movement. Since the transports came out here now, they're going to bridge these three infantry from the Midlands over to Normandy. You know, there's that part of the peninsula that sticks out into A21 there. So those three infantry go to Normandy. And then uh, the two seaplanes are out here in A21. They non-combat. This one goes back to land in Normandy. This one is going to go one, two spaces over here to land in Ireland. Right there like that. And I believe that's it for non-combat. Yeah, so place units. So as long as we're already up there, we're putting a militia. Oh, wait a minute, no, 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 no. I started to mess up. These four infantry move from London to the Midlands. There we go. Now we're putting a militia in London along with two infantry. That's how that's supposed to go. Okay then down here and artillery goes to South Africa. Over here, oh, just touch. we replace the two colonials in Western Egypt and Nubia. We are building a camel in Eastern Egypt. Shift over here. There in Najed, we are building a camel there, and oh, okay, I can't do what I was going to do there. Nope, I can't. I was intending to build a, a camel here in southern Iraq. I was also, I uh, had purchased a colonial upgrade and I can't do both because I only have one manpower. So we're going to build the camel and we will cancel the colonial upgrade. So two of those IPP come off there. And I'll decide what I'm going to do with him in a second. Okay, so we did the camels there. Um, over here. Gurkha. Did I buy? No, I didn't buy a Gurkha. Ooh, that was an oversight. Yeah, that was. Uh, okay, well that explains what we're going to do then. Artillery, they're in Bombay. Then uh, the two dollars from the canceled colonial upgrade instead will be a colonial in Punjab. 
that's how we'll fix that. Okay, two colonials there. Okay, we also have a colonial into Bombay there. Okay, that is it over here. The seaplane comes over here to be built there at New York. New York. There we are, New York. And that's that. Okay, collect money. Step all out of the way. The British. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way and then I'll turn around and look and tell you where the British are at. The British are at 39. We have the uh, plus one for Portugal, makes 40. That's what we get for income. Six. Boy, I thought that was coming up snake eyes there for a second. Okay, so 40 plus six is, surprisingly enough, 46. Forty-six. That's what the British have for next turn. Ozark Outpost. Over and out.